LARP armor. Something that I neglected when I started LARP because my first armor was terrible. Hopefully after watching this video you don't make the same mistakes I do and you buy something good. Before you buy any armor I'd definitely recommend getting a padded jacket. This is really important because it makes wearing armor so much more comfortable and it softens the blows. This can be a gambeson or a kaftan. But once you've got that, you now need to know where you can go forward and what kind of armor you can get. To start with is looking at your LARPs rules. Different LARPs have different regulations on what armor covers what, what points you get, and of course what materials you can use. Some LARPs have a minimum on the thickness of leather, also the minimum on thickness on aluminium or steel. Also you need to know if you can use uh, polythyrene or aluminium in the armor, so that's a great point to start at. Now you know what you're looking for, but where do you actually look? To start with is Epic Armory. Uh, like their weapons, they're a great all-rounder for armor. They start from a historical-ish range all the way through a fantasy. They've got a great selection, they've got great sizing, and what I mean by that, they've got a size chart. You've got to find yourself on the size chart and they've got, say, large, medium, extra large, small to fit. Also, their product, in my opinion, is a really nice quality. I've used lots of Epic Armory armors, and they might wear and break, but the fantastic thing about them is they're made well enough that you can repair them, you can attach new straps, you can rivet new straps on, you can even polish back the metal and recolor it. So that's fantastic. So in summary, Epic Armory, great value, great starting point, fits nicely pretty much all the time but it is a LARP armor, so don't think you're gonna be able to go into more intense combat uh, with it because it is overall a LARP armor. The second brand I wanna talk about is Mythlon. Like Epic Armory, they have a great fit because they have the size chart to so be able to work out that. And of course, because they're not custom made, you get the savings there. Also, great quality, I would say, on par with Epic Armory. Sometimes it's hard to tell what brand is which without seeing the brand, which is great because I think they're both really usable and a great location to start with a quality investment in your LARP hobby for armor without buying cheaper products on the market. Have you been liking this video so far? If you do, please give it a like so the algorithm knows. And if you like this type of content, please hit that subscribe button. Now we're getting into the fancier products. I'd like to start with Arm Street. Now Arm Street, if you've got a bag of coins burning a hole in your satchel, it's time to look at Arm Street. Now they have beautiful equipment, uh, beautiful armor, engraving, lovely workmanship, but of course that comes with a price. They're an artisan product, they're great quality, they're custom made to fit, so you send off your measurements and they will make it to fit, and they are SAC approved, which is a more intense combat style. So if you want an armor to fit all, it might be worth making that investment later. I wouldn't recommend going out and buying Arm Street armor just because you've been LARPing for a month. But it is great once you get into the hobby and you want something to really show off your character's personality, uh, or you just fall in love with the piece. Another artisan shop is True History. Now, of course, this isn't exactly just for LARP armor. It is a historical site. They do fantastic artisan pieces, historically accurate, extremely well-made and quality, fantastic stuff. Um, if you're looking for that historical accuracy in your character, which of course isn't all the time with LARP, but if that's something that you want to achieve, the True History Shop will achieve that for you. Beautiful stuff. And the third I'd like to talk about is Mastery of Steel. So these guys cover quite a large range. So they've got all their way from LARP armor to SAC as well. Uh, great products there. I have friends that have their product. I personally have never had anything of theirs, but they look good. The quality has been sufficient. I haven't seen any crazy breaks. They've got a wide following in the market and they've got good customer support from what I've been told from my friends that have had any issues. So you've looked at what's available at the stores, but there's nothing there that really suits your character. So you've decided to make your own armor. 
Well, first off, like I said early, you need to go through the LARPs rules and see what you can make that out of. Some LARPs will let you use foam and give you costuming points or even armor points. Some LARPs won't let you make your own armor. I have heard of that for safety reasons. Uh, and some LARPs have restrictions on what type of armor and what points it covers. So now that you know your rules and your boundaries where you're working in, you've got to pick your material. So of course you've got leather, which is a great place to start. You can use chain mail. If you want to sacrifice a whole year of your life, I'm terrible at making chainmail. Tempted once, never again. Or you can go to scale, which is an easier form where you can sew onto the scale onto a leather jerkin behind. Or you can go to my favorite, which is lamellar, which is just plates that you can sew together or sew onto leather, such as my armor in the back here. So that's really a brief overview of getting ready into LARP armor. Uh, I'll be doing a video on my own armor and going through Lamela in a bit more detail if that's of interest. And if there's anything else that might interest you, leave it down in the comments below. I love the conversations and uh, I love the topics that you guys bring up.